to a drunkard married, when all her other arts miscarried, had yet one stratagem to prove him, and from good fellowship remove him. Finding him overcome with tipple, and weak as infant at the nipple, she to a vault transports the lumber, and there expects his breaking slumber. A table she with meat provided, and robed in black stood just beside it, seen only by one glimmering taper, that bluely burnt through misty vapour. At length he wakes, his wine digested, and of her phantom ship requested, to learn the name of that close dwelling, and what offends his sight and smelling, and of what land she was the creature with outspread hair and ghastly feature. Mortal, quoth she, to darkness hurried, know that thou art both dead and buried, conveyed last night from noisy tavern, to this thy still and dreary cavern. What strikes thy nose springs from the shatters of bodies killed with cordial waters, stronger than other scents and quicker as urged by more spirituous liquor. Myself attend on the deceased when all their earthly trains released and in this place of endless quiet my business is to find them diet. To show all sorts of meats and salads till I'm acquainted with their palates but then once known, then less suffices. Quoth he, and on his crop arises, Thou guardian of these lower regions, Thou provider for countless legions, Though dark, but charitable crony, Far kinder than my Tisiphone, Who of our victuals thus art thinking, If thou hast care too of our drinking, A bumper fetch, quoth she, a halter, since nothing less thy tone can alter, or break this habit thou'st been getting, to keep thy throat in constant wetting. <laughs>